Hey guys, Deon Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about Copilot, but this time we're going to discuss Copilot for Dynamics 365 sales. So if you're interested, I'll be right back right after this. The first thing that we want to do is go to AppSource from Microsoft, which is appsource.microsoft.com, and we're going to install Copilot for Dynamics 365 sales from there. Now, I found uh, some issues by trying to go to the page, right, where from where it says get it now. If When I try to install it from here, I was getting a couple of errors, 404 page, page not found, etc. So the first thing I would recommend doing is go to appsource.microsoft.com and then sign in first, right? So these are your credentials that you're also using to sign into Dynamics 365. Once you've done that, you can then go to this website and I will make sure to actually post a link to the article in the, the description section of this video so you can find that URL because when I was looking for it on AppSource, I couldn't find it for whatever reason. So I'm gonna put that link into my article so you can go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Get It Now. And as you can see, it's telling me that we're taking you to Dynamics 365 now to complete that process. So from here, all I have to do is select my environment and I'm going to install this on my Canada environment. You're going to agree right to these terms that we have here and then we're going to click on install. And that's just going to take a few minutes and then after the installation has been completed, there are some other things that we need to do. And you can see now that Dynamics 365 Sales Copilot has been installed successfully. So the next thing we need to do is actually enable Dynamics 365 Sales Copilot inside of the app. And you can do that by navigating to make.powerapps.com. Make sure you're in the correct environment. Then you'll navigate to apps and then you're gonna click here on more commands related to the app where you want to enable this for which in my case is sales hub and then i'm going to click edit and i'm just going to give it a second here while this loads but you're going to see here on the command bar that you have a settings button so you're going to click over there and then you're going to click on upcoming and if i scroll down just a little bit you can see that from here, you can turn on Copilot for email and enable Sales Copilot chat. Now, keep in mind that most of the chat capabilities are currently only available for opportunities. So keep that in mind. Right. Once you've done this, you got to make sure, obviously, that you publish your changes. And then you got to do a couple of other things. First of all, we're going to go to the environment where you've enabled Copilot for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up. You're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna go here to audit and logs and then we're gonna make sure that our audit settings are set up correctly. So first of all, you need to turn this on. So you need to make sure auditing is on. And then the other thing is you need to make sure that your logging user access as well. So make sure that this one is turned on as well because Copilot needs that for some of the functionality. Then, as I mentioned earlier, Copilot is, right, the Copilot chat piece is currently in this preview is, is mostly available for opportunities. So that means that there are a couple of fields on the opportunities that are very important that need to be populated. First of all, 
Um, product line items can also be included in Copilot, so you can utilize your product line items from here as well. But I did not populate any of my product line items, as you can see, and it still worked fine. So just to kind of let you know that not all of these fields need to be populated, but these are the fields that Copilot is looking at, right? And then obviously also it's looking at notes, it's looking at emails, right? So keep that in mind as well. So these are the fields that again, Copilot is looking at, right? So the topic of the opportunity, the account contact, the budget amount, the actual revenue, which you won't fill out until after the opportunity is one. Then a description field, current situation, proposed solution. And then we also have something that's called the catch-up fields. This is also functionality that exists inside of Copilot for Dynamics 365 sales. What this is for is that when a sales rep, uh, when something happened to the opportunity while the sales rep was not logged into the application, Copilot can actually show like catch up information, right? These are some of the things that happened while you were out or when you were not logged in. And for those catch up types of messages, these are the fields that are included with that. So we have status, pipeline phase, sales stage, estimated close date, revenue, and then again, actual close date, which we will not populate until after the opportunity has closed. So make sure you're actually, you are actually adding or you already have these fields on your opportunity forms, right? When you're trying out this new Copilot feature. Okay, so I'm just gonna navigate here to opportunities. And here you can see my Copilot sitting here in the side pane, right? So you can see we have chat and we have compose. So compose is currently grayed out because compose really only works when we are on an email form. So if I would send an email, I can then utilize the compose section of that. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Before I do that, we obviously first want to turn on Copilot, right? So you can see you have a couple of these introduction screens, right? So say hello to Copilot. And here it's telling us we can get quick opportunity summaries. We can catch up on opportunities, right? Since our last log, last login, and then we can prepare for our upcoming meetings and get the latest news for organizations with Copilot as well. I'm going to click next. And then you can see now we have that try Copilot button and that's going to really launch Copilot for us. And then we can start to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click try Copilot now. And you can see there's really nothing in here right now. The only thing that you see here is prepare me for today's meetings. So the way that that works is Copilot is going to look at any meetings you might have in the next 24 hours. And I'm just going to go ahead and click that so you can kind of see what that does. So here are two meetings that I have for the next 24 hours. And I can then pick any of those meetings, right? So let's just go ahead and do a follow up meeting after demo. And then we can click on prepare and that will now, right? Give me some information that I might need as a sales rep to prepare for that meeting. Now, this is also looking at notes that are related to uh, whatever record, whatever opportunity record, right? In this particular case is related to this meeting. So it's looking at notes and it's looking at emails. So here you can kind of see, right? Okay, so we did a Dynamics 365 sales demonstration on the 21st, it was well received. They had some questions about customer service and we're gonna create a quote to include the light customer service and we're gonna do a follow-up meeting to discuss the scope, which is this follow-up meeting. So you can kind of see that I don't have to drill into that opportunity that this meeting is related to, right? The co-pilot and the AI is just giving me all of that information directly here in this chat pane. I can also access that follow-up meeting, right? So if I click on this, 
this is now going to load that meeting and I can see this is with Sonia with myself Dion actually scheduled it and then I can see here where is my related oh it's not oh here it is my regarding it's regarding this seminar lead opportunity right so pretty cool functionality right that we have over here now the other thing that I wanted to show you here as well is besides the meeting preparation obviously is the ability to right if I click here on an opportunity you're gonna see that it it, it was really really quick it just generated right uh, a quick catch-up for this opportunity and you can kind of see that as well this is a catch-up since my last login so if I click on this it's gonna probably give me the same catch-up right yeah that's this guy so that's kind of what that catch-up is doing it's very quickly kind of showing me what's happening and then I can do a thumbs up or a thumbs down but I can also review the audit history if I have access to that right if I now go to another opportunity Let's just go ahead and go to open opportunities and see if we have another one. I'm going to go ahead and click on this product order. And again, it's creating that summary now for that opportunity, right? Again, this is a catch up where it's giving me information about this, this particular opportunity. Now, the other thing that I can do here is I can show latest news. Now, what this will do is it will look at the account, right? If this is an account that exists and it will actually give me news regarding that account. So let's go ahead and try that. So here we go. So now it's kind of giving me information, right? Regarding this, well, this is a sample account, so it's probably not gonna show me a lot but it's giving me information about this account and I can drill into those articles as well. If I wanna get more information, I can click here, show more on Bing, and that will open up, as you can see here, Microsoft Bing in a separate tab. Now, if I would be on an account record, and I don't have a lot of active accounts, let's just show active accounts here. Let's just do RSM here for a change. You will see, right, that again, I can click here on show latest news. And look at that, now it's showing me news and events about RSM. If I go to Maria Campbell, who is related to the RSM account, again, I can do show latest news. And again, it will show me news regarding that account that Maria is related to. So that's very interesting to, uh, to kind of see that directly here uh, within the application. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can just type in summary for seminar lead, right? So that's the name of the lead. Let's just go ahead and run that and look at that. Then it's just going to create that summary for me. So I don't have to open the opportunity to get the summary. I can also ask Copilot about it, right? And then as you can see, it just loads that summary in here. If I wanna go ahead and copy that and maybe paste that into the opportunity as a note, I have the ability to do that as well. But it's kind of nice, right? Here I can access the actual opportunity. This is the account, and that is the last appointment or the last contact that we had with them, which was on 6-21-23. So very, very nice functionality here within Copilot. Now let's talk a little bit about this Compose section that's currently grayed out. So what we're gonna do here is we can just go ahead and create an email. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an email. And now you can see that that compose button is no longer grayed out, right? So from here, I can just go ahead and then take a look at what exactly do I wanna say. So I can describe the email. So let's just go ahead and say, uh, write, email to Sonia about the next time we 
meet, we will discuss the quote we sent her last week. Let's just take a look and see what it's going to do from there. Again, this is AI generated content, right? So make sure that this is actually content that makes sense. Now, I hope this email finds you well. I want to blah, 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 schedule a meeting. Let me know when it be convenient. And look at this. This looks really, really good. Now, if I want some changes, I can make some changes in here, right? I can, I can describe them, hit this little arrow button, and then it's going to hopefully put those changes in here. But if this looks good, then I can just say copy to email. Look at that. I don't even have to select it and copy it. I just click copy to email and it's going to put it right in here. I don't like this little subject thing here, but um, I can just go ahead and get rid of that. But this is going to allow us to very quickly utilize these features, right? And quickly create those emails that would probably take us a lot longer if we weren't able to use this composed function in Copilot for Dynamics 365. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.